Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be continuing our lecture on conditional formatting. In the previous video, uh, we already saw that how conditional formatting would be applied to the textual and the numerical data. So today we are going to see the uh, more applications of conditional formatting over the different kinds of data. And we are basically continuing this uh, lecture from our previous lecture only. So today we are first going to see that how can we apply conditional formatting over the date data. So here is our video from the previous, uh, here is our table actually from the previous video itself, uh, which is containing this date column and over this column we want to apply conditional formatting. So first of all, you got to select all these cells you want to format, then go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. In this you can see that there is this option called a date occurring. If you just click on it, then you can see that there are uh, this, this is this drop down by default yesterday is selected. So what is your current system date? According to that, whatever was yesterday, it has selected. And if that yesterday is present in your data, then it would be highlighted. But uh, since no yesterday is present in my data, so it's not highlighted. What if I just go to today? So today's date is 3rd of May. If I just go to today, then you can see that this date is now highlighted, which is today. Similarly, if you want, you can highlight this tomorrow, which is 4th of May. Uh, if any date is occurring in the last seven days, you can highlight that as well. So today is what is occurring from the past seven days. That's why it has been highlighted. Any data from the last week, not present any data from this week. Yes, this is this whole week today lying ahead of us next week. No data last month, no data this month. Yes, this whole data. So that's how you can apply these different kinds of formatting over the date data in um, conditional formatting. Apart from that, if you want, you can go to uh, the highlight cells rules and that's equal to option would also help you to highlight the data. Like if you just apply uh, any kind of um, data to it, suppose 4th of May 2020, then yes, that data is present and it has selected it. But what if you just change it to something else that is not present, like 4th of August, uh, sorry, 4th of June. So in that case, uh, this data is not highlighted because no such data is present. Similarly, you can also go to between and in between you can present a series of data or a range of data. So all the dates that are occurring between this range would be highlighted like by default 5 to 8th May is selected and all these dates between 5th to 8th May including them as well have been highlighted or their formattings have been changed. So these are all the formattings you can do with the date data. Now this was about conditional formattings one rule that was highlight cells rules. Now we have other rules as well which we are going to cover in the subsequent videos along with this one as well. So first of all we are going to look at top or the bottom rules. Okay. So if we just go to top bottom rules then these rules are generally applied over the numerical data. If you want to understand it simply then you can apply it to the numerical data. Okay. So for that, um, first of all, let's see our data, which is this numbers data. And there are some numbers we have. So over this numerical data, we are going to apply it. So just select these cells, go to conditional formatting, top bottom rules. First one is top 10 items. If you want to highlight top 10 items, you can just go for it. Then these uh, 10 items, which are the top 10 items have been highlighted. Here is a marker from which you can just decrease. Suppose you want to show only the top five items. You can do that. These top five items are shown. But if you want to show only top two items, you can do that as well. Similarly, if you do not want to show uh, top 10 items, if you want to show bottom 10 items, you can just show them as well. If you don't want to show bottom 10, but bottom 11 items, if you want to show bottom five items, then you can move your stylus like this. If you want to show the least value, then you can just change its data to one and the uh, least value, which is 10 is highlighted. Okay. 
now similarly in the top bottom rules you can also go for percentage like if you want to show what is the top 10 percent of data so that's 143 that's in the top 10 percent if you want to show top 15 percent of the data then actually nothing is there if you want to show top 20 percent of the data then there are these two columns present or these two data present these two are highlighted similarly uh, if you want to do the same thing for the bottom 10 percent you can just go for it if you want to show bottom 20 percent of the data yes so these two records are highlighted similarly if you want to show bottom 50 percent of this data so 50 percent of the bottom data is highlighted now okay now there is one more thing in the top bottom rules that is above average and below average now for that what do you need to know is what is the average of the data that you have got so how can you know the average of the data you have already selected all these cells and you can see that here the average of the selected cells is shown which is 71.0833 so it's approximately equal to 71 only so basically if we just want to apply uh, any kind of formatting above the average data so every data that is above 71 would be highlighted and every data below 71 would be highlighted if we choose the option of below average so we are going with above average and you can see that in above average there is nothing as the criteria because above average is itself the criteria and only the formatting options is what we have you want you can just change its formatting options like this similarly if you want to show only the below average data then you can do that as well but the formatting options got to change uh, you can change them as per your wish okay so that's how you can apply formattings now uh, the other things or the other formattings that we have with our data is uh, this is this data bars color scales and icon sets okay so these are important things but before that one important step that you need to do is uh, i'm just going to show you over the numbers data only you can just select uh, any one of the cell over the column to which you want to apply this conditional formatting and you've got to sort it in some order i'm sorting it in the ascending order but if you want you can just go for the descending order as well but this is just to make it easier for you to understand so you need not sort your data then go to conditional formatting data bars if we just go to data bars then there are two options available the gradient fill and the solid fill so if you just go for gradient fill say green color of the gradient fill then you can see that these kinds of the data bars are shown if i just zoom in a little bit like this okay so you can see these data bars are shown which are for depicting these numbers okay but if you want to just uh, change its gradient to something else you can do that as well and similarly you can opt for a solid fill also instead of a gradient fill so since you can see 10 is the smallest number it has the smallest bar 143 is the largest number it has the largest bar but to show you that format uh, sorting has no application to it suppose i change it to say 10 then yes 10 is also a data and the data bar relevant to 10 has been occurred over here so the reason why i have done sorting is to make you clearly understand of this contrast over here you can see the pattern of increasing similarly uh, color scales are also used for the same purpose as data bars but there is a disadvantage what is it suppose we apply this uh, we can just clear rules first from the selected cells to just remove these data bars then go to color scales and apply these color scales so you can see that there are these color scales which are from red to green red is the lowest value and 143 is the largest value so the contrast is shown clearly over here but what if we just change some of the values like we just get it a 10 a 20 and again a 10 like this then you can see it is difficult to understand with the color scales but what if we had data bars in its place then it would have been very easy to understand that what is actually the value of the data so for a clear depiction of the data it is uh, normally suggested to just go with a 
um, data bars instead of the color scales okay so just go with the data bars here like this okay so this is um how you can uh, depict your data with the data bars then there is another thing that is known as icon sets now how can we apply conditional formatting through icon sets and some more things is what we are going to cover in the next video this is all for today's video thanks for watching